Hey dear love, I'm Nicole, founder of Spiritual Guidance Academy, and welcome to your October Spiritual Guidance. This is your career focus. Watch out for the love focus and the health focus. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do about two and a half minutes of the Earth's energy, of the Spirit's energy, of the universe's energy. And then we're going to dive right into your personal star sign, moon sign, all of those signs energy all right so this is a month of sexual tension rechannel that to be productive and work for you all right you might just be needing to work on your own body get to learn yourself your hormones might be changing there's a lot of anger a lot of blow-ups waiting to happen so when you see people fidgeting get out of their way if you're the one that's fidgeting go rechannel that go work out go for a walk work with your hands and create something powerful and divine there's a lot of movement, a lot of a need to just function and to just be. So channel that into any kind of useful energy such as meditating, chanting, um, playing music, running, working out, playing with the kids, okay, playing a, a self game, whatever you need to do. But regenerate that, in, that energy. Um, there's a lot of anxious energy out there. Work on your goals. Uh, be determined to be successful. Become that business owner that you keep dreaming to be. The energy is there for you to succeed this month, but you've got to do the work. If you're trying to cut corners, it's not going to work. Power plays are out there. Don't be the one to get got, okay? You be the one to stay empowered in your authority, your personal authority, meaning self-develop. Be in charge of you. Make the changes you make within yourself. Don't try to force it on someone else, okay? The delays are real. Keep an eye on your keys. If the car is messing up, go get it checked out. Get second, third, seventh opinions. If you have to make a large purchase that you have not been researching, make sure that you bring someone you trust. Bring them in on the deal. Tell them the, what's going on. Trust them because they are your blessing in disguise and what they say is a message from the divine. Frustration is real. Disappointment is real. The shakeups are real. So watch your money. Reposition, refocus, re-strategize. Here you listen to this, okay? The peacemakers are causing waves. There's some that are lying. There's some that are real. You must use your intuition this month, okay? Get off the fence, make that choice to be successful, and you will be absolutely good. If you lie your way forward, you will fail, you will fall on your face. And spiritual superstars, you know that we don't ever want you to fail. We want you to be successful, and Divine Source truly does have your back. All right, let's get started. Hey, dear Scorpio. Let's go ahead and take a beautiful deep breath in and raise our vibration. Ready? I want you to, to rewind that and I want you to listen to the um. When you meditate this month, O M, okay? Um. Um. I want you to hear that within your own vessel because that's going to bring you to a place of peace this month. Scorpio, you're releasing what's not healthy for you, and it's good. But you're also releasing what's not working for you on a day-to-day. -day. And uh, there's some spiritual downloads that are going to be coming in pretty prevalent for you mid-month. And by the end of the month, I just feel like you have a rehaul of relationships in your career and what relationship you hold with your employer um, you know whether you're valued or not and really 
the reality check of whether you're just an employee. Um, and I think you're really going to be thinking more hard about business opportunities and what that means to you. Is it a matter of you just walking through life and really being okay with uh, being an employee? Honestly, I feel like your, your day to day is up for review right now. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And you know, Libra, the sign before yours, had a major release. But I just keep hearing release for you. And to just walk into your truth. And... Be okay with the merry-go-round of life. You can get off when you're ready because I see now I, I saw you riding the horse but now I see you sitting quite comfortably leg crossed over your knee in kind of the sleigh that's on the merry-go-round and uh, just very comfortable and now I see you sitting there cross-legged standing I'm sorry standing up against a pole just while it's going even faster, but you can't tell that by looking at your stance. You are very comfortable, there's no fear, and you simply just jumped right off. You didn't jump off, you just walked right off. That's it. One step, boom. That is what you're going to do in your career life. When you make that change, honey, you're going to make that one step forward, away from the chaos and into your tranquility. And it's going to be beautiful because it's going to awaken and bring to reality what you have been keeping secret in prayer. And what you have been receiving as signs from the spiritual realm. Honey, remember this. No matter what changes you make. Always make sure that you remember the most important relationship you can have is with yourself. And as Spirit said in the beginning of your reading, your relationships are up for review in your career life. But you've got to stay connected to Source, okay? You've got to keep your spiritual connection and know that Spirit brought you through it. And you sure enough, are going to be changed for the better because of it. So remember that, yes, while you're taking care of everybody else, the kids, while you're taking care of your support, your child support, your alimony, while you're taking care of the bills, while you're taking care of your parents, while you're taking care of all of that, all of the responsibilities and obligations, Spirit is still saying, don't neglect yourself, your own concerns, your career, your aspirations, your dreams. And really decide to be a little bit more courageous and go after that which you truly, truly desire. You know, I feel like this is certainly time for you to look into work from home opportunities with sanctuary here because that's your that's your refuge. That is your peace. And that's absolutely okay. And but spirit is telling you the spiritual downloads are real. So listen to your ancestors because honey, you are their legacy and they're counting on you. Yes. But look at it without the burden that a lot of people might look at it in simply because they're in their ego. When you look at it on, in your higher self, dear Scorpio, you then begin to see that you are chosen. And that is why they are reaching out to you from the spirit realm in your dreams. And all of the occurrences that are happening that you can't quite put your face, you can't put, quite put your, your, your finger on. It's because you are awakening. This is this true wake-up call month for you. So trust it. 
show yourself compassion as you show other people. But you're going to have to step away from the toxic connections that you have with business associates, with your ideal and your concept of how you have to earn money. But you're so talented. You're sitting on so much talent. But the fear of your own success is what's keeping you from succeeding. Scorpio, you come into October with an understanding that here's what has to change. Your spirituality, your practice, okay? Your health and wellness. The fact that you won't spend the money to get the high quality products if they're a couple of dollars more, okay? And that's all it is. It's just a couple of dollars different. But what your fear is telling you, and this is not of God telling you this. This is your fear telling you. And your fear has nothing to do with your spiritual connection with the divine. It has nothing to do with your peace and your serenity. It has nothing to do with anything that's going to help you. It has everything to do with what's stopping you, what's keeping you in stuck, stagnant, survival mode. And what's keeping you just above water sometimes so that you can feel like, oh, I got a reprieve. And you sit on that plateau and you just are afraid to still go a little step further, but you're right there on that plateau. And then a year later, a year later, excuse me, you find yourself still on that same plateau when it's eroding away. That's the fear. What that's telling you is if you spend $2 more on this higher quality product, that $2 is going to be taken from gas money, then that's going to require you to take $15 away from the bill that you have to pay every month. There, there's always that fear of if I invest in myself and my dreams, I won't be able to take care of the other obligations and responsibilities of life. And that's a lie, dear Scorpio. That is the lie that I feel like Spirit is telling you, step away from it. They know that you love your family. They know that that you have dreams, though. Spirit knows. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Spirit knows. You are so talented. That's why you got those spiritual gifts. So, honey, it's time. Just like Libra, you're pulling from each other's energy this month. You, It's time for you to be the light that you are and for you to shine your light and to not feed fear. It's time to feed faith. Dear Scorpio, we know you're a homebody. It's okay to be a homebody. But now be a homebody and stop ignoring your ancestors who are telling you work from home. But stop in that stop limiting yourself from being told how much money you can make in this lifetime. Because you are way too talented not to be. Earning that money for the family that you are just totally in love with, that you want to take care of in a way that pleases you. What did Spirit say to you earlier? They know that you love your family. Honey, they know that you're doing all this for your family. And so Spirit is saying, I'm helping you change your career and help you get into your business ownership because you care for your family so much. Because of what you have to trust. Aromatherapy. Definitely engage in your essential oils. I use one kind, one brand, and that's it. Because they are the best. So be careful about the brands you use. But you certainly want to start using your essential oils. And start engaging plant life. Keep your plants around you. Okay? Keep them around you. You see mine's right here. And they're all around. You want to do that. Honor the music. You know, go into the store, take your mask off and smell the roses. Put your mask back on. Okay? Play your music. All the time. If you play an instrument, great. If you don't, play the the radio, play a, a CD, play something, 
but make sure that you're listening and harmonizing with the energy of the universe. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And you know, flowers is a part of health and wellness. Flowers is a part of your sanity. So you have your heart chakra here to, to listen to sage bushes right there. Sage is, is a beautiful component of spirituality. Definitely a part of the flower kingdom and plant life. And when we work with sage, we are clearing away the toxic energy. And uh, I certainly encourage you to go to our website and pick up your sage spray or sage oil there as well because some people can't burn it. But that doesn't mean that you should be without it. All right. And let me just give you another look of what sage might look like. Just dried. Okay. Okay, so wisdom, you know, just the wisdom to honor the truth of your heart, your fourth chakra. Uh, this relates to matters of the day, and remember that your day-to-day -day is changing. Matters of the heart, what's going on in your heart every day, day-to-day, night-to-night. And in manifesting, we are always blocked if our heart is not into it. If we are not doing something that pleases us, and right now family pleases you, honey, and you've got to be doing something for a living that pleases you. There's something very pivotal, dear Scorpio, about every energy that is associated with the heart chakra because they tell us about the heart of the matter. And what Spirit has been showing you is that the career change that Spirit has been showing you is working from home, doing it from, for your family, helping you have a better home life, more secure, more stable, more happier. And it's all centered on family. And they've been showing you, Spirit God has been showing you in your dreams and your epiphanies and the visions, how to get to that point of serenity. The love and compassion that you have towards your family, being the caregiver, this is your wake-up call. And remember to get the book, The Seven Steps to Master Any Spiritual Awakening. Get that book because that's going to help you so much during your spiritual awakening, okay? But it's, you know, this is where we decide how are we going to proceed, whether things will get kicked back to our intuition, you know, where we spend time thinking without progressing on our decisions. And right now, Spirit is saying, okay, I need you to move forward because you deserve these blessings that I've got in store for you. And your ancestors are telling you, listen to your ancestors. You are so psychic. So psychic. Wisdom is knowing the difference between a calculated risk and stupidity. Don't get offended, okay? The legend is one day a young sage bush asks his grandfather how to grow old with wisdom. The elder answers, we must learn from our mistakes. Before you worry about something, ask yourself if it will be important in the future. Enjoy your present form as we all change with time. Your inspiration this month, dear Scorpio, is, is there some wise counsel that you have sought only to ignore it? Yes, there has. Because you're just straight up ignoring what Spirit has been sending you and what your angels and your ancestors have been showing you. But that's okay, because that's why you've been waking up from 3 to 5 a.m., and that's why spiritual synchronicities are happening to you because you are in your spiritual awakening and this wake-up call is pulling you out of the eye of the storm that you feel yourself in and you're starting to see things differently. You're starting to really see who cares about you and who doesn't. 
And how can you care about the young ones in your family, your grandchildren? How can you take care of them in a different way? How can you honor the sanctuary and the sanctity of your marriage, of your relationships? How can you take care of your family and still live on purpose and enjoy that? Your inspiration to meditate on. Are you trying to do things alone? A solution may come from those more experienced than yourself. Are you willing to listen? Stay in the present moment and do not let your thoughts jump ahead. Your personal inquiry to meditate on is, do I go with my heart or against it? Am I ready to live in leadership? Key ideas to meditate on, wise counsel, focused energy, honoring yourself. Contribution, being chosen, contentment, transformation. Key words to meditate on and build your affirmations on are maturity, tranquility, and support. Thank you so much, the dinosaurs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. So, dear Scorpio, you walk in to this month knowing there's some changes that need to happen in your health and wellness and your day-to-day -day routine and the ability to plan out your goals and work your plan and stay consistent um, and to be open to not knowing everything. You don't know everything and be open to hearing what that missing component is from the right messenger that's assigned to you. Instead of dismissing them. Oh, I know it. I know it. You don't have to tell me. I know all about that. I know that. I know this business opportunity. I know what that is. I know I know what that job is all about. Oh, I researched that company. I know what that is. Oh, I know what that job is. I saw the opening pop up on my screen. I know what that's all about. Maybe you don't. And maybe the messenger is sent from your ancestors who are telling you, Honey, we see your struggle. And we want to help you. Mid-month, around the 16th, your angels, your ancestors are going to be telling you where to walk, how to walk, what to say, what to do, what opportunity is the best one for you. And it's going to be blaringly clear. And it's okay to go in that direction. And at the end of the month, Relationships are going to be coming to a head and you're going to see which ones can be released. So get out of your head and get away from any negative thoughts. That lie that says you've got to control everything and you've got to know how to do it. You do not have to know how to do it, okay? You do not have to know how to do it. And I feel like because this very well could have been either way, in reverse or otherwise, I feel like, oh, okay, thank you so much. Hang on, Scorpio. Thank you for that. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. There's a lot of fear here, but you know what? Spirit's telling you it's okay to do it tra the traditional way and do it with integrity because that's the only way that you're going to do this and that's the only way that Spirit wants you to do this. Let me show you something. <laughs> Let me show you how your spirit animal came out. Okay? And we know that the bat likes to get down like that. But what do those words say?
a rebirth is assured. So even though this came out like that, same energy, you are going to hang on to the parts of life that you know, that make you feel secure. And you are also going to be okay letting go of the parts of life that don't make you feel comfortable, that are really not stuff you bought in. It, it's, it's not stuff that is you. It's like some of the things you brought into because they are from your parents, because they are based on circumstances. But getting out of your own head is going to be really big for you. And no, you don't have to go down with a dying ship, with a broken ship. It's got a big old hole in it. You don't have to go down with the ship. You can get off the ship with the rest of the crew and save your career and get your finances back in order. And where you weren't out of balance, spending too much and really living check to check. Some of you check to Monday, which you know by Friday you pay some of the past due bills and by Monday you're broke. Uh-uh. That's over. That's in the past. You've made a decision. Uh, some of you still got to make that decision this month to go in that path. You've got one or two choices. But here's where your mindset is based on tradition. And it's a karmic change that's going to happen, Scorpio, regardless of whether you want it to or not. And Spirit is telling you as you go forward, there's going to be a difficulty in honoring your intuition only because of that ego. You've got to push that ego to the side because, honey, what you're doing is fearing your own success. And success is here for you. And it's a traditional, it's a, it is a set system. It is a proven system. It is an established company. It is, I mean, follow A. Okay, check that off. You did A. Okay, now read B. All right, that's easy. I can do B. Check that off. You've done B. It's that kind of duplicatable system that this is generational wealth. This is legacy income. This is residual income, meaning you do one thing and you get paid on that one thing every single month thereafter. And you own it, confident, empowered. You don't, you're not hurting nobody. You're helping people. And this is family. The Queen of Wands is all family, fiercely loyal to family. And you are that. So, honey, you are going to have a little bit of a struggle listening to your intuition. But that means you fall back in love with feeding faith and starving fear. And now you are ready to come on back out and make things happen. And you're not going to be in hiding anymore. And that's a beautiful thing. You're hoping to really chuck some things and start fresh. No, take that back. Get some of those projects that you've been working on. If you haven't been journaling, start now. Write things down. Gather them up. Staple them together. Make it your journal. But get them in order so that you can... Look at what spirit has already been sprinkling in your mind, body, soul because you have the blueprint to your financial success. The rebirth is inevitable. The karmic change is inevitable. Okay? These fives came to you because it's time for you to look at life in a different way and still maintain a type of balance with an established company, an established way of doing things. So no money-making schemes, no pyramid schemes, no get-rich-quick, no put your whole bank into something and it will give you money back. No, none of that. Um, none of that stuff. This is put your work into it. Roll up your sleeves. And do this for your family because you love your family. But now, honey, this is energy that is making your dreams come true. And this is inheritance. So whether you, where you have been afraid of putting in the money to really just build your inheritance, dear Scorpio, for your children, for your grandchildren, for your family, for your name, 
after something has run its course and died or been released, finished, surrendered, completed, or ended, there's a promise of a new beginning. Rebirth is assured just as night gives way to dawn and the bat emerges from the darkness of a womb-like cave. You remember the sanctuary that Spirit showed you earlier. Bad Spirit has come to you, dear Scorpio, to remind you that this rebirth is a miraculous one indeed. And your energy is all transformation. And when you have to give up the old, and still be present in this new energy. It's, a, it's an amazing transformation that has begun. And this is the miracle and the magic of rebirth in every aspect of your career life. Including a rebirth of faith in your ability to even establish new and healthy relationships in your career life. Okay, so you're going to ask yourself, what are you refusing to let die? Because you're being gently nudged to let go of your need to cling to the familiar story of your narrative that has already run its course. A new story is poised to be born. And you've got to know that the legacy energy that's still there with tradition is always going to be there. But fearing the false sense of loss from changing trajectory to reach your goal of having a strong legacy and inheritance and solid, stable, secure financial health. Is not true. You don't have to hold on to an unhealthy connection of those things in order for you to, to make your dreams come true. You can't. You have to release it in order for spirit to expand that, to bless that energy. I don't feel that. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so much. Okay, I heard do. There you are. Gotcha. Thank you so much. All right. Here is your attitude of gratitude, dear Scorpio. I what? <laughs> Scorpio. What did Spirit say to you? You and Libra are pulling from each other. I believe this is the same one that Libra got. So write it in your journal. And know that Spirit is helping you make your dreams come true. If there's anything that I can do for you, I'm here. We have our new reading specials, and uh, I look forward to reading for you. I look forward to working with you. We have a few spaces left in our scholarship coaching program. And so, Scorpio, honey, remember, you can make your dreams come true, and Spirit knows why you do what you do. It's all about family for you. 